you Aquarians this is going to be a wonderful positive month because the energy vibration of this month is the energy of um, justice so it is going to be a wonderful hair sign here justice so we are going to have the energy of justice and the zodiac energy of the, um, the um, air the zodiac energy of hair but also uh, for the first two weeks and as we have had the second week we are also going to have the energy vibration of the, the water so we are going to be working with um, the planetary system of Venus and Pluto Venus and Pluto um, this is going to be um, a very strange time we come into the end of the year working with Venus and Pluto is uh, um, for you for each and every person it's going to be a strange strange month the energies for you guys what you should look out for in this month is going to be the four of Pentacles whatever your your financial situation is it's going to become in balance which is a wonderful positive positive energies for you guys I am also having the energy of the house so let's say that you have been looking for a house or um, you've been looking for work or you have been looking for house work um, uh, a new apartment uh, um, new accommodation um, it's time to book vacation it's a wonderful time to book your vacation it's going to be a very very positive positive energies that is going to come in when the energy of the house comes up that means um, whatever your financial situation is at home or you are looking for a place to live it's going to be a very very positive positive um, month okay so whatever that is happening in your life you should understand that this month is going to bring a lot of good energies uh, uh, which is going to come true so um, new um, new um, work work and uh, um, um, homes um, you, you know change of residence okay so this is going to be wonderful okay let's go and focus on your week this month of October we have the energy vibration of uh, um, four weeks as we look at the weeks in this month which is uh, I do my glasses again on um, it's all about the two first week is going to be one of the most vital week for new beginnings okay and a fresh start at work so whatever the situation is it's going to be a new beginning and a fresh start at home at work the energy of the page of fire the page of fire is a wonderful vibrant energy it's a good energy whenever the page of fire comes up it's a wonderful energy we have the energy of the six of cups so the page of fire and the six of cups there is going to be a soul connection of a new beginning that you are going to be connected with someone and this person uh, this new beginning it's a message of new begin coming in and the six of cups is a wonderful wonderful positive energy because what is happening with the six of cups is that you're connecting with your soul family and this is going to bring a new start for a lot of people a lot of you Aquarians for people between the ages of 0 and um, 18 it's going to be wonderful for the kids especially because uh, their spirit guides and angels are going to be connecting with them okay um, it's going to be a lot of new beginnings whenever the energy of uh, um, the six of cups and the child comes up what is the universe is saying is that most of you are going to be starting to connect with your spirit guides and people of your soul family I want to do something and I'm changing up the readings as usual 
and um, we are going to look at uh, the aspect of the fire and you have the energy of the page of fire and I love this it says hope and heartedness childlike innocent and curiosity beginning of uh, an intimacy relationship playfulness and cheerful um, optimism I awaken my heart fully allowing myself to feel childlike wonders and innocent all adventures lead me where I need to go love awaits life is delightful a dance and I'm here to focus and play I am ready with a big a smile and I have on my face to dance this is extremely wonderful because the first week is going to bring wonderful new beginnings as I said I like my angels and guides because they're always always you know um, making um, things um, giving answers to certain questions in the second week you have the ten of fire the ten of fire is a wonderful energies and before I go any further with the ten of fire because we're going to learn something about these new messages that are coming in because it's very significant in the second week this is going to be a week of fire and hair and it's going to be a wonderful week a week of fire and hair but this second week it's going to be burning away releasing the excess endings clearing way for new beginnings so this is wonderful the second week again it's going to be burning away releasing the excess endings clearing way for new beginnings okay you may be um, over 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 commitment over commitment committed and have taken on too many burdens in this moment I do the work of uh, clearing your life all that you need to do and need to release will release from you the greater world but no longer hold on to its simplest form because once seems to have values for you so things that seems to have values for you will no longer be so you will think as if it is something of the past saying goodbye to the emotions relationships and situation that you realize do not belong in your life anymore so this is going to be the energy of the second week and what is coming in is that whatever is happening you're going to be extremely victorious over this this is your energy vibration so whatever burdens that people out there that you are all carrying in the second week you're going to be releasing all your burdens you're going to use the sword to cut two sides this is a situation of releasing a work situation okay so for a lot of people if um, you are going to decide to change your job move on to something else and feeling a very happy doing that changes okay so whenever the energy of the Fox comes up it can be a situation of a work situation but it can also be that whatever that was not back of balance in your life is going to come to an end and you have the ten of fire so um, whatever it is you're going to be releasing it and you're going to be moving on as we move on to the second week we have the energy of Pluto the energy of water and you are a um, hair sign and you have the five of water the five of water is always uh, the energy vibration of emotions but it, it's a time of clearing so what we are doing is releasing so the five of waters is releasing grief allowing sadness um, to raise and a uh, fall and have forgiveness the evils of the flow of emotion so the third week is going to be one of emotion but be aware that you feel the fullness of your emotion as they will um, flow through you the egos the flow are part of life and you are a person that your feelings are who you are 
you fulfill for yourself and for others and let go of any emotions that were holding you back from acknowledging the truth of a situation. Isn't that wonderful? You deserve the freedom that comes when you release what it is no longer working for you. You make amends to those who may have done you wrong and who have may have hurt you emotionally, for the colors of changes come in. You surrender any resentment to the divine, knowing they can be transformed into miracles. Fearlessness invention lead to equilibrium, and this is what is going to happen to you in the third week. Again, what we have, we have the Eight of Cups, so it's it's really a month of leaving stuff behind. You have the Eight of Cups, and whatever the situation is, you're leaving an unjust situation behind, and you're moving forward to something that is much much better whatever the situation is that you're leaving behind all these emotion you're releasing it can also be people who are cleansing um, their bodies of uh, toxic and it's a good week to cleanse your body of toxic so again we are going to look at uh, the scenarios and the things that are working out as a month of uh, release releasing emotional pain and emotional balance and in the third week this is going to happen as we reach the last the last and fourth week we have the energy of the message of hair and I so uh, I'm so happy that the message of air comes in because maybe you're thinking that this month is going to be one of a sad one but it's not it's releasing when we release that is powerful the message of hair optim um, options information by ex expecting miracles uh, adhesive to the dogon aligning to a way of thinking or acting a learned responsibility subconsciousness programming and a shift reaction or um, response you need to not to be burdened with your perceptions and you need not to react to situations from the past you need to have and think about whatever you want and whatever you want to bring in your own energy vibration you can adapt new ways of thinking and believing and behaving if you are aware, aware and awaken for the shiftness ensuring action for the highest good positive outcomes will assure you okay so this is a wonderful message to end the month for you um, Aquarians and this is good because whatever is happening um, you have a happy family life going on some people are going to feel as if your energy is been taken away it's as if you are sharing your energy with so many people it's as if your energy is being um, taken away from you because when we release we feel as if we have lost so much it's as if um, releasing is as if you're losing weight some people are going to feel as if their energies uh, are being taken but that is uh, the form of uh, you releasing the sadness that you have been holding and this is extremely good so it doesn't really matter what is happening this is going to be positive and whatever the situation is around you think and be aware that positive things is going to come in it is a, a more um, a month of uh, um, healing it's a month of healing it's a month of releasing for a lot of you and um, whatever the emotional imbalance is it's going to be okay let's look and see what is the energies for the lovers in this week so I'm asking the angels of love to come in and let's see what is here for the lovers in this week okay 
for a lot of people, um, the releasing um, of relationships, a lot of relationships are going to be ending. Uh, for a lot of uh, for for some people, a lot of endings, a lot of relationships are going to be ending. But what we're seeing here is that uh, the energy of the devil is very powerful, and whatever is happening, um, something positive is happening, um, because uh, the releasing of uh, um, relationships that no longer. Um, is here but you also have the energy of the devil and this energy of the devil is uh, for the people who um, hold on to a relationship and will not let go and then you have a situation that some people are going to be deciding to get divorced so here we have the energy of some people releasing um, ending their relationship the others are people who are holding on who are um, possessive to other people in their life and the energy of uh, organizations because some people are going to be wanting to connect with organization because they want to have a separation or a divorce or that sort of a thing that is going to happen um, love for you um, Aquarians this year is not one of the most favorable on the other hand we have the energy for the people between the ages of 18 and 35 love message message of love coming in from the Taurus the Virgos or the Capricorn okay so people between the ages of 18 and 35 are going to have a love message from the um, from the Capricorn, the Virgos, and the Tauruses. Okay, so this is going to be a positive one. As we move on, um, we are going to look at the energy for the um, for the zodiac sign. Um, it's not a, a month of work and and play it's it's a month of releasing healing whatever that is affecting you or that has been affecting you you are going to heal your life and by healing your life you are going to see a much more positive situation that are coming in now I'm looking for the Sun moon and rising sign um, to, to see what is going to happen who are you guys going to be working with? So here we are calling up on the astrologue for the um, goddesses of uh, the astrologue to come in and show us who is going to be working with the sun people. Uranus, yeah, because you Aquarius are ruled by Uranus and we have Jupiter So and Pluto. Yes, because Pluto is at the end of Pluto is working with the people at the end of uh, the month in the last week. So, okay, for the sun a rising sign, that is the people who were born between um, 12 a.m. and uh, 6 p.m., okay? You have to work with the planet of Uranus so what is going to happen is that um, these planetary system and aspect are going to be manifesting in your life and all that they hold you will be working out with them you also have you're working with Jupiter and Jupiter is a very 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 lucky planet Jupiter will be carrying luck for a lot of people and you'll be working with Pluto that is helping you to release that which no longer um, serve you so whatever aspect that is going to affect you it is the time to release um, from you that which no longer serve you as we look at the moon energies we have the energy of mercurius so um, mercury is a wonderful planet because that is how you learn the magic to manifest and this is um, extremely good then we have the cancers were coming in those are the water sign people so a lot of you will be affected by the cancers because they are going to be pushing your intuition your psychic abilities to a higher level and then you have here 
you're working with uh, um, Mars so this is very wonderful this is very good whatever is happening open up yourself to this energy because it's going to work for you it's going to help you in the long run and it's going to be very very positive so this is going to be good for you guys as I've always said I change my readings up all the time so that you know I um, because the guiding angels asked um, for this to happen I am working with the angels of abundancy this month seeing that it's one of the sad months before the Christmas and I'm um, asking the angels and guide what is the message for this time and it says um, deservingness deservingness okay you're a blessed child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine purpose even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are and this is wonderful so whatever is going to happen um, the universe wants you to know that you are a precious gem and you're deserving for whatever it is that you need in your life I want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back I am wishing you a wonderful month namaste, namaste.